want to simplify the given complex fraction. In previous examples, we simplified the complex fraction using method one and method two, but for this example, we'll only be using method two. Method one would work, but it would take a lot more steps. So the first step in method two is to find the least common denominator of the fractions in the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction. So beginning with the given complex fraction, Because the denominators of the fractions on the top and on the bottom don't factor, let's go ahead and put the denominators in parentheses. Here, 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 and here. And now let's work on determining the least common denominator of the fractions on the top and on the bottom. Because these two fractions have a factor of x minus one in the denominator, and these two fractions have a factor of x plus one in the denominator, the least common denominator would have to contain one factor of x minus one and one factor of x plus one. So this would be the least common denominator. We could write all these fractions as equivalent fractions with the denominator of the quantity x minus one times the quantity x plus one. The second step is to multiply the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by the LCD, which means we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the quantity x minus one times the quantity x plus one. So now looking at the top, if it's helpful, we can think of this as a fraction with a denominator of one. So now when we multiply this first fraction by these two factors, notice how one factor of x minus one is going to simplify to one or simplify out and therefore on the top, we're going to have four times the quantity x plus one. Again, because x minus one over x minus one simplifies to one, and then we'll have minus. For the next product, notice how we have x plus one over x plus one. So those two factors would simplify to one, leaving us with minus one times the quantity x minus one. Now looking at the bottom, again, if it's helpful, we can write this as a fraction with a denominator of one. So looking at this first product, one factor of x minus one will simplify out, leaving us with x times the quantity x plus one. And then we have plus, looking at this product, a factor of x plus one will simplify out, leaving us with one times the quantity x minus one. For the next step, we want to clear the parentheses and then combine like terms. So we'll distribute four here because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing negative one here. We'll distribute x here, and we'll distribute one here. So on the top we have four x plus four, and then minus one x or minus x, and then negative one times negative one is positive one, so plus one. And now on the bottom we'd have x squared plus x plus one x or plus x, and minus one. Let's continue on the next slide. Combining like terms in the numerator, we have 4x minus 1x, that's 3x, and 4 plus 1 is 5, so plus 5. In the denominator, we have x squared. x plus x is 2x, so plus 2x minus 1. To see if we can simplify this further, we need to factor the numerator and denominator if possible. Well, 3x plus 5 does not factor, and looking at the denominator, because there are no factors of negative one that add to positive two, the denominator also does not factor, and therefore this is a simplified rational expression for the given complex fraction. So going back to our first slide, let's just write it in here. We have the quantity three x plus five over the quantity x squared plus two x minus one. Remember to enter this in from the keyboard, we would need parentheses around the numerator and denominator, as I have them here. But if we use the equation tool, we can enter it in this form here. I hope you found this helpful.